Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Hutt. It's Wednesday, and we're doing our summer roundup of vacation. So yeah. David's a hugger. I know. It's, it's all bit. good, though, because I like being here. And you look so cute today. Aww. I said it looks like you're you're renewing your vows. I'm getting married. <laughs> yes. I, th I think it's, I mean, it's the dress, but it's your hair and the Aww, bun, too. That I does it. You. But I love it. Yeah. Well, I love seeing your bump. And yesterday, we don't have any picture proof of it, but you let me talk to the baby. Yeah. Heather sings to the baby <laughs> <laughs> on random occasions. It's good. I mean... He's going to know who you are when he comes. And then I told you, I was like, I will be at the hospital. I'd so I, I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, I'm she'll so be there. How are you feeling? I know a lot of people are wondering. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, it's at this point, it's, it's getting heavy. <laughs> heavy and, and it's, it's hard to breathe. It's hard to breathe. Yeah. It's starting to get to me a little bit. So it's these past... This past month, it's been a little rough, and I'm, it's just, I know. I'm out of breath all the time. I'm hot. It's hard, <laughs> it's, isn't it? it? It's tough. It's, it's not, not for the week. I don't think so. So, I, you know, I give credit to women everywhere who have had one, two, three well, children and more. I think yeah. it, it's not that it, like, gets easier, but I do think when you know what to expect... Then it might, sometimes it's just Maybe it's like it. a little easier to know like oh okay this this is what happens next and baby's coming soon. Oh, see, but, I, I'm just walking. My daughter just came back from Rome and saw a Steelers bar. How about that? Fran says I take three towels, Steelers, Penguins, and Pirates <laughs> with me on all of my vacations, especially going to other countries. Oscars in North Myrtle was opened by Freddie Williams, and uh, Fran told us that he was a boiler maker and worked in Pittsburgh. We talked about this yesterday on the mm -hmm. show. Yeah, she definitely has to check her bag too with all those towels. <laughs> right. right? And Natalie says, yes, because I'm proud to be from Pittsburgh. And you always find other people who are from Pittsburgh when you wear your stuff. So true. I think part of it, too, is not just finding the comforts, but it's also finding people that you know, know where you're from. Like, know what you right. do, right. know your background a little bit. It's like, it's like a friend away from home. It is. It is true. Um, and so we actually wanted to share something with you because our producer, Krista, told us about this. Uh, there's an original Pittsburgh bar in Myrtle Beach. It's only available. Do you really want to find this? On July. <laughs> it's a limited edition sauce available July 4th at four U.S. ballparks. And they are in Phoenix, New York, at Yankee Stadium, Target Field in Minneapolis, and in Detroit at their park, too. Yeah. So I don't. Here's the thing. People do cook with cola. With co with, with really? like different you, kinds you, of soda or pop. Cola? Well, you could do like chicken. Some ribs. people will I, use it with ribs. ribs. Okay. That's and right. yeah. so I do think that there's a lot that can be like you can use pop mm -hmm. with, but I don't know about this. I'd have to taste it. I don't know. It's not it's not speaking to me yet, but maybe if I you know. Uh, is there anything like are you able to eat still? Yeah. Are you finding? Are you? <laughs> well, I there comes a point eat. where you're like I can't even move to eat. I you know what it's it's there's <laughs> it's true. I can only eat but so much. But so yeah, much, like right? It, I, I, I can't wait until I can eat like how I really want to eat. I get full really quickly. Yeah. You have a point there. Um, we saw this video, Frankie and I, the other day, mm -hmm. and he said, do you think we could do this? And I said, absolutely, I think we should try. Yeah. There is a tradition. Once upon a time in a far off kingdom, all of your favorite fairy tale characters got tangled up in a storybook mashup. Yeah. Into the Woods is one of the most popular musicals of all time. You've probably seen the movie. It stars an up and comer named Meryl Streep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't you know if you've heard of her. may have heard of her. I don't know. And now the show is back at the Benedum with a star studded cast of its own. And we are so excited. This week's waiting child loves to bake and tell dad jokes That's too. Right. So I decided to take him to the bar. Bartram Bakery Factory, where he got a chance to have fun with both. The newly crowned winner of the Food Network Summer Baking Championship will be here in the PTL kitchen. She's from Pittsburgh. Her talents can be tasted at Ritual House, and we're so lucky that she's gracing our house with her skills. Yeah, plus Daisy is catching up with our friend Frizzy right before he takes part in a demolition <laughs> derby. You can't wait to see that. Thanks for spending. But is it the same? It is absolutely not the same. And this is where we're... This is where we're saving money. So we asked Kelly to jump back in for this conversation because I, I think that we are seeing more and more of the AI jumping into our everyday lives. And it, I, I know we joked a little bit about the Jetsons, but this yes. is like becoming truly that. And AI has been around for a long time. Chat GPT and like where it's going. Yes. We had a robot in studio the other day and it was fascinating to see how they're building these things. Sure. And how they're working. But at the same time, there's this very scary reality that we don't know where the future is going. Like think about trying to get a human. It's been a great partnership with them when we can continue to work with them to, uh, to sponsor inclusivity in sports. So 
we mentioned a little bit about how there's still work to be done mm -hmm. to make sure that sports are open and more inclusive. How do you think that we, we work? How, what is the thing that we could be doing more and better? I think we can do, continue doing the things that we're doing. I don't know if you guys watched Ted Lasso, mm -hmm. but in this last season, there, one of the storylines was about one of the players being afraid of coming out to his mm -hmm. teammates and watching the acceptance. It, to me, it was such a powerful moment because we want to see that. We want to see the acceptance across the board. You should come to one of our games. We get that all the time. Where people, seriously, to. people come to us and they finally find a locker room where they feel like they can. For the past few months, the newest leader of the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater has brought his expertise and diversity to his new role. And he has big plans for the future of the company. We are so happy to have PBT's new artistic director, Adam W. McKinney, here with us today. Thanks so much for taking time to be here. Heather, it's such a pleasure. So you've been here for a couple of months now. What, what's your background, though, with ballet? Because you have done many things as you told me. I can dance with us. I know that people enjoy those so much because you're able to take in something that you normally can't outside. That's right. Which is wonderful. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about what you hope to do with the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater. 